Hello, you're watching Low Light TV, and it's all Francis, the Predator and Ganos out of space knockouts. Please like this video and leave your comment below. Your support is very important for us. Thank you very much. Engano started his MMA career on 2013 and fought mostly in the French promotion 100% fight. And the first devastating knockout he made in his third fight in this promotion on 2014. He sent to sleep little known fighter Bilal Tahahi on 100% fight 20 event. The second Nganu's won by hard knockout was already in UFC, and Nganu made his debut against fellow newcomer Luis Henrique on 2015 at UFC on Fox 17. He knocked out his opponent in the second round. Combination followed up. But he's loading up each and every time. Oh, yeah, good he's combination. Up. Tired on the feet, and that's the truth. And Gano with some serious oh. power. Gano knows it. Oh, he's done. That's it. That's it. That's it. it. It's all over. Wow. Uppercut. Look at this left uppercut, and oh that, that's the end of the fight right there. He, he landed one more shot afterwards, but he was completely out. That left uppercut was nasty. Josh, you guys got a good seat here. That was incredible. <laughs> and got All right, I'm here with the winner, Francis. How are you going? Oh, you going to check on him? Yes. Okay. He wants to check on him. Observe my game plan. Uh, and I wait the, the good moment to, to attack very well. Francis, the Predator Egaru! Andre, the Pitbull Olaski! And Gano faced former UFC champion Andrei Orlovsky on 2017 at UFC on Fox 23. He won the fight via TKO in the first round. The win also earned Ngano his second performance of the night bonus. The MMA factory in Paris is they bring Ngano. Oh! Ngano knocks Arlovsky down! That is it! The Predator Francis Ngano! He's fighting at range, Arlovsky fires, just misses. Ngano comes over the top of the left and boom! Beautiful follow up to his counter with that right hand. And look, that is not Nganu's best punch. Look, you can't even get a good story about the guy out. That's how much lightning he possesses in his hands. Today I was very happy to, to I'm very happy to win the fight because I still improve myself. I'm good to do better again. I don't think about anything special. He was just like the reflex. In the highest profile fight of his career, Ngano faced veteran Alistair Overy on 2017 at UFC 218. He won the fight via knockout in the first round. This knockout has been labeled as one of the greatest and most brutal knockouts of all time. And for Alistair Overy, his 60th professional MMA fight. Not a lot of people burning up Nick Maynard's phone to try to get a matchup with Ngano! And then boom. Paging Stipe Miacic, Francis Ngannou is coming. Good Lord. Let's take one more look at this left hook. I mean, just perfect on the chin. I want to dedicate this victory from all my uh, brother in Libya who are trading as a slave. On this day, it's, it's not very fair. I'm very, uh, I feel very, really bad for that. And um, yes, you know, that was, that is criminal, you know, and then, uh, as, I, I, excuse me for my word, but I just want to say, fuck slavery guy, fuck racist, fuck racism, yes, and then, uh, 
claim the freedom, claim the liberty. Thank you, everyone. And Galo faced Curtis Blades in a rematch on 2018 in the main event at UFC Fight Night 141. First fight he won, but then there was no devastating knockout. This time Ngannou won via hard TKO early into the first round. The win also earned him a performance of the night bonus. The Slade's recovery still won't be on his feet. Mark Goddard's taking a closer look. Ngannou's powering in. Oh, this is bad is. news. That's what? it. Fuck. Ngannou headlined UFC's inaugural event on ESPN, UFC on ESPN 1 against another former UFC champion Kane Velasquez on 2019. He won the fight via knockout in the first round. If I'm Kane Velasquez, here we go folks. Much has been made of Velasquez's injuries, but in terms of his body, he's never felt more confident in it. Oh, he got Velasquez's hook. Goodness gracious! Has knocked out wow. Hurt his knee. Busted his knee, guys. Blew his knee out. Oh my goodness. So Velasquez. Horrible. Oh, what a fight already. Done. Well, that might be the. How fast was that knockout? Well, Francis Ngannou dusted Curtis Blades in 45 seconds back in November. Wow. 26 seconds tonight. Incredible. This guy is powerful. He just literally walked through and just floored it. Floored it. Absolutely floored it. Ngannou faced second straight former UFC champion Junior Dos Santos on 2019 at UFC on ESPN3. He won the fight via technical knockout in the first round. This fight earned him performance of the night award. We talked about the kick a little tighter if you ask me. Oh, half early, but how? Oh! Oh, yeah. I'm like tense. Oh! Two shots! Two shots! He has tonight! Absolutely sensational. He swings over swing right hand and then boom, right on hammer fist. And now big shots from the tunnel just covers up. I think Judy is trying, didn't find the mark. He lost by word. He does it again. Sensational first round knockout. And Gano faced Jarzinho Rosenstrike on 2020. And Gano won via knockout just 20 seconds into the first round. This win earned him the performance of the night award. Side leg kick is there for Biggie Boy. Oh! Oh! It's all Rosen Strike is out! Oh. And Ganu! Out bad! Out cold. Crazy. That's crazy. And here's DC's reaction in real time. <laughs> Woo! That's all I could think was whoa. You trying to fight that guy, DC? <laughs> I said he's out bad. He's got a bazooka, you just have a gun. I mean, look at that. This guy's just his chin's all up here, and he's just like, I'm gonna hit him. And when he does, Biggie Boy goes out. He has these great finishing instincts. Look, man, I'm going to tell you one thing. A lot of people want to see Francis and Ngannou fight for a heavyweight title. And I'm one of those quirk people, too. Just not against me. A rematch for the UFC heavyweight championship bout between Miocic and Ngannou was scheduled on 2021 at UFC 216. First championship fight against Miocic on 2018, he lose by judge's decision. This time Ngannou won via knockout in round 2. This win earned him the performance of the night award and of course UFC heavyweight title.
Low Light TV was with you. Please comment, like, and subscribe for more Low Lights. Francis the Predator and God.